YouTube, y'all been asking for something different. Y'all know I do a lot of weight cuts, but what you trying to get, bro? That clean drop fade. Yeah, I heard it. He want a clean drop fade. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning back into another video. I truly appreciate every one of y'all. Y'all, it says like 80% of the people who have came to watch my channel, not just one time, but came back repeatedly, aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button just to kick this video off. But to get into this video or to yeah to start this video out i'm got i got a number two and i got the blade open and then i'm gonna close it and i'm just going up i know i'm gonna create a hard line right now going up into the bulk of his hair but y'all can see that we don't have a lot of room to do this fade this fade gotta be real tight kind of just because it's a, we're doing a drop fade y'all heard he said he wanted that clean drop fade so that's what i'm gonna do for him so y'all to bottom out I, I went up with the two and i just kept a certain shape y'all see the shape that i kept and uh, every drop fade I do different kind of depending on what the hair is like with the person's head shape like it's hard to explain but I like to stretch my fade also so it's hard to be able to stretch your fade with a fade that's short and compressed but y'all can see how I'm doing the ball line I'm just setting it in right out under his ear I'm not taking it up too high and then I'm dropping it down in the back and I'm leaving when I put it in on the side I start kind of toward the bottom of that uh, C cup just because I want to keep it as dark as possible so that when I come put the line on it it'll uh it'll just make that line pop and it'll be natural and this is a natural cut no enhancements and y'all gonna see the man this fade turn out butter but that's what I'm doing I'm just bottom them out I'm gonna clean it up then I'm gonna come back in with my skeletons and because they take it a little bit lower really they take it almost you know close as you can get to the shaver for real I, I got them set perfect so yeah, I'm just doing that. I'm taking it down just to create another transition to my fade. You know, just to get the smooth, smoothest fade possible. kick this fade off I got my blade open on my skeleton FX and I'm going up like three quarters of an inch y'all gotta remember it's not a love it's not a lot of room to fade into so I'm gonna go up about three quarters of an inch and I'm setting this when I set this guideline in I make sure that I keep it the shape I make sure that I drop it and keep it that shape around here see how I'm following that same shape that that bottom line is I'm keeping that and I'm being very consistent to go up the same amount around the whole thing I might go up a little bit higher in the back, just a tiny bit, just because we got a little bit more room to fade in the back. But y'all, this is real speed too, just to let y'all know, because I want y'all to be able to see everything. I want y'all to truly be able to learn and understand what I'm doing with my clippers. So make sure that you can see and you're paying attention to what I do. So I had the blade open. Now I got the blade halfway closed, as you can see. And I'm just going up halfway up that guideline that we just established. I'm gonna go halfway up that. And then I'm gonna close the clipper. I'm gonna close the lever one more because this his hair is real you know his hair is straight hair is real, it's kind of fine and i want to make sure that this transition is smooth so instead of going straight to closed i go to the one right above closed and then i close it all the way and take that bottom line out completely and i like to work in sections i like to work from the front to behind the ear and then behind the ear to the back of the head coming in like I said from behind the ear to the back of the head and I'm just doing that same thing it's gonna be blade open to establish the guideline and I'm gonna close the lever halfway go halfway up that fade close the lever one more go halfway up that halfway point that we just did then I'm gonna close it all the way and tap the bottom line this should take the line out completely then obviously you're gonna have some detail work because when you know the drop fade this is very hard. It's one of the hardest cuts to do, most difficult cuts to do, just because the way that you got to move your clipper and adjust. See how I have to cut with like the, the corner of my blade a lot, just in this area, because you want to be able to keep that shape. You want to keep that same shape and make sure that your guidelines are the same all the way around. You want to do that on every fade, but it, you really want to do that on drop fade just so you 
keeps that gradient and it keeps that look in the back that it drops down and it's not like high fade or none of that but it got definition it got real gradients you know and it's dropped down you can be able to see it you can just see the contrast but yeah these are the same steps i'm gonna be doing the same process all the way around the head and just make sure that you keep are consistent on both sides of the head you do the same thing on both sides keep everything symmetrical all right, so I'm gonna get my message in right now. So my message for today is this. It comes from Matthew 5, 14, 15, and 16. It says, you are the light and the salt of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So let your light shine before men so that, you know, they can see Jesus in you. My people used to tell me all the time that I might be the only Jesus that somebody sees. So I need to make sure in every situation, in every scenario, I'm always letting my light shine so that people can see, look at me and see Jesus in me. And let let your light shine. Let Jesus shine in you and through you into the lives of others. And make sure that everything that you're doing, that you're doing it for the glory of God. You do something every day to glorify God and give him his glory when it happens. Say you pray for something, you want something to happen, you got goals, whatever, I don't care. Everything that happens that's good for you is from God because all good comes from God. Make sure when your dreams, your visions, and your goals come to pass, you're, glor you're glorifying God. And even through the whole process, you're glorifying God no matter what. People always ask me, like, why you always smile on this and the other? It's because I move different because I understand who I have in my corner. Greater is he was in me than he was in this world. So just make sure that you're letting your light shine before men and that everything that you do, you're doing to glorify God and that you give him his glory so that and you tell people about it so they can glorify God through your work by doing that you're going to be leading people who don't know God to God so you're going to help them get born again you're going to be helping people who are already born again and who are already saved that might have veered off their path get back on their path with God and focus on the right things focus on God and all that he's called them to do and you're just going to help them get back right with God and you're going to help people who are already close to God just be motivated and inspired you're gonna motivate and inspire so many people just by doing that so make sure that you're letting your light shine before me and you're being a good person you're being a rep good representation of Jesus Christ and that you're letting your light shine so that people can see your good works and see the great things that's happening in your life and glorify our father in heaven because everything that he's doing in your life right now y'all I got the number one guard on and I'm going up about three-fourths of an inch I had the blade open at first to establish the guideline. Now I got the lever halfway closed, hitting the bottom of that guideline. And I'm gonna close the lever all the way. See, now I got the lever all the way closed and I'm gonna tap the bottom of this guideline or the bottom of this line. And I know that it's not gonna take this line out completely, but it's gonna soften it up very well for me to be able to come in with my zero guard and take it out. following the same steps just got the blade open and I'm gonna close it halfway so now I got it halfway closed and I'm just working into the section that I already already previously done so that I make sure everything's even and everything's adding up Now I'm working this side, just working in front of back. I'm gonna go ahead and work over just to make sure that everything is even. And once again, I do make these videos for y'all. So that's probably why I'm doing it like this. Usually I would do, I would just start at the front and come to the back and meet them in the middle. But for the sake of the video to get it all in one, I did it like this for y'all. So now I'm gonna go up around and I'm gonna slowly just tie this thing together, make sure I keep everything even, keep everything consistent, and I'm just taking the same steps and trusting my system. That's the beautiful thing about having a system when you cut. You know, if you follow that system, everything's gonna work out, everything's gonna be great. You just need to follow the steps and make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. Y'all, Nipsey also put in a song. I put my truth in his music, hope I'm giving him light. Just letting your light shine is such an important and beautiful thing. 
So make sure that in your everyday life, you're putting your truth in and you're putting the truth in it, the way the truth in life. Jesus is the way the truth in life. So Jesus should be involved in everything that you do. Go ahead and throw the verse of the day in from the Bible app in here too. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is probable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. God equips us in every good for every good work. So you are equipped for every good work once you are a man of God. Second Timothy three. Second Timothy three sixteen through seventeen. Alright, y'all. So right here I got the zero guard on. And I'm just going. Y'all know what I do with the zero guard. I look at it as an eraser. I don't put guidelines in with it. I only take lines out with it. So what I do is I open and close it when needed and i use the corner of my blade so just watch how i'm moving it i left it in real time so y'all can see how i really work this thing so just make sure that you see how i'm moving my clipper see the angles that i'm taking see how i'm opening and closing my levers it's fading is all about uh it's all about just knowing hair lengths and knowing hair textures so once you know hair lengths and hair textures you know how to move and work your clipper you're gonna be great you know it's like God is in the details, so make sure that you always pay attention to the details, and you always just putting your best foot forward, and you always get better, man. Make sure that you not rushing through cuts. That's one thing that I preach to to any young barber coming up, or you only have to be young, just any up and coming barber whose game is not where they want it to be. Like I still take my time, I still do, I still book an hour appointments just because I'm still learning. Like I'm, I'm still trying to find something to get better at every single cut. I'm trying to find something to get better at. So just make sure that you're not trying to rush people out, but you taking time to understand what happens when you move your lever, what guard you have on, what happens, how you cut with this clipper and that clipper, and how you use this angle. You know, make sure that you're paying attention to your tools and you know how to truly use your tools. The master knows how to use his tools. Use what God gives you, man. And then continue to invest in yourself, and continue to get better and get more stuff, and continue to get better at at your craft so y'all can see man i'm just being very careful being very patient with this thing i'm not rushing i'm not doing nothing crazy and i'm just being i'm just being patient y'all can see how this thing really coming together we're just gonna have to blend that top we're gonna have to make that blend tighten them up but yeah it's the same thing just lever playing and just picking and pinpointing dark spots and bringing them to the light So y'all know I left off earlier with the number two guard. That's what I went up with to begin the cut. I had it open, then I came back and closed it. And now I got the number one and a half guard on. And I'm just blending this in and making sure I don't push it too high. But it kind of looks already high. I kind of feel like it's maybe a little too high, but the cut still turned out fire. Y'all can see that fade. I just got to have to blend the top in. And we're going to get this thing, you know, smooth. We're going to get this thing right. We're going to get this thing fresh. So um yeah i'm just i do i look at the one and a half and the zero guard the same way i look at them more as an eraser i don't put guidelines in with them i only take lines out with them so that's what i'm doing i'm just gonna open halfway and close and lever plan and making this thing as smooth as possible and this is gonna be the final step to to pull this fade together because we already did everything else i'm gonna come back in later and do detail work but i ain't really put a lot of it in here just because it's a long video but uh, yeah, just make sure that you're doing detail work. I, I did put a little clip in just so y'all can understand what I'm talking about. And then right here, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, my steer work isn't the best. So it's kind of just a basic, just a basic, uh, just coming around the ridge, softening it up, trying not to cut too much because he didn't want to cut it off the top, but still being able to blend it in so it. You know, I didn't have that heavy line. And, yeah, I'm just taking it up. I'm just doing what I know how to do. I do. It, if I need to take a class on something, it would be like a class on shear work. Because 
that's one thing that I know is weak in my game. I ain't gonna lie about it. I know it. So this is very basic, you know. This is a very basic technique. But it ended up working out for me. So it could have been better. This little ridge could have been better at the end. If y'all really paid attention to that, definitely could have been better. But, man, I did what I know how to do. Um, that's one thing that I definitely uh, plan on improving in the future. But, I mean, still, just the cut still turn out fire. I just like to be the best at everything I do. So, this is something that I don't need to get better at for sure. All right, y'all. So, to tap in the C cup, I start from the top. I go to the bottom. I tap in at the bottom and I work my way. I tap the top, tap the bottom, and I work my way to the middle. I mean, I guess I really work my way to the top and I just clear it out clean you know what i'm saying now i'm gonna go over it again just being very careful this is just details y'all it's just a couple little hairs and a couple little spots that you know i feel like they need hit so i'm gonna go over them a couple times making sure that i hit them all making sure that i got everything how i want it and y'all can see the fade coming together it's a little bit on the ridge i'm still finna clean up but man this is all natural man like this thing gonna be Christmas. Shout out to my boy Luis. He uh he a sophomore, I believe, in high school, and he be cutting. Like so, you know, this is a beautiful thing. He from he from the hometown, L.A., Louisiana, Missouri, man. Shout out to my boy Luis, man. Luis. And this is what I was saying earlier, y'all. Just doing detail work, just. Opening and closing my lever using corner work, you know, just bringing this thing to another level, making sure that everything's smooth and that fade butter, you know. I'm doing the same thing here the lever playing, opening and closing. Details, details, details. Like I said, God is in the details. Making sure this thing clean as possible, man. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And that's in every area of your life. Every area of life should be clean. Alright, y'all. So if y'all was able to sit through this 18 minute video with me, I appreciate y'all. If y'all not already subscribed, please smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment so that it helps YouTube's algorithm helps me to continue to grow. Y'all, let's get this one to 2k we need 2k views on this at least because y'all know i put in a lot of work with this one because y'all know what kind of hair i like to cut i like to do these cuts though this is a clean cut man if y'all think this is clean go ahead and leave me a comment let me know what y'all think about this one if y'all came to learn i hope you learned something take something from my game apply it to yours advance in your career and your craft and in your life and if you came just to get satisfied i hope you're satisfied i hope to see you back on the next one and may god bless